So for today's Trade of the Day video, I wanted to take a look at the new opportunities from last night on the D1 Accelerator strategy, see how they're getting on and how we're looking to manage those trades. So we'll keep it nice and simple. Let's have a look at the scan from yesterday's opportunities. So what I'm going to do is got my favorite uh, list of markets here. I'm going to look at the daily chart, which is my go to time frame. Uh, we can do a two bar look back, hit search. And what this does is it presents me a list of of markets that are showing a turning point. Now a turning point is demonstrated by this color change of this line here. So this line changes from red to green or green to red, that's basically a turn. Now our favorite turning points are also uh, demonstrated with a sniper disc, one of these discs uh, on that chart. So for example, yesterday, that's today's bar, this is yesterday's bar, there was a sniper disc on there which gave us a sell signal on the close of yesterday's candlestick. What this basically does is in the scan, it will identify all of these for us. So for example, Aussie dollar and the Bund and so on were identified on yesterday's bar, i.e. two bar look back, one, two and then number one is today's bar so cad swiss and cad yen are setting up for tonight basically so these are all the opportunities from yesterday now not everything on here will have a sniper disc on it but that's okay because as you become a more advanced trader you'll start to look at opportunities beyond just the snipers what the snipers are there to do these discs there is to pinpoint our favorite opportunities the types of turning points that have consistently performed and identified the best trade so they can be traded when you're new to trading before you have a deeper understanding of the markets because these are the ones that have really demonstrated the most consistent results uh, over past performance. So let's have a look through these. Uh, I'm going to focus on FX only uh, at this point because that's what most of our people trade, uh, our members trade. So I'm going to start off by looking at Australian dollar against the US dollar and let's have a look at the chart here. Now what we've got is a sell opportunity from yesterday. Now the closing price, so the C price here, uh, was at 72.08 uh, uh, and here we got see the price now at 71. 88 broadly speaking so we're about 20 pips up on this trade at the moment it's going in the right direction so it's a red disc out on the outline there indicator here telling from green to red meaning it's a sell signal so we can speculate on prices falling now the way this strategy works is we're typically looking for really what is the sweet spot uh, of this market what is the market most likely to do now we're typically in these trades for anything between one to three days and most of the trades are out on the following day and what this means is we're not interested in looking for two three four hundred point moves because that's not actually that realistic over one day what we're looking to do here is to get in get out move on to the next opportunity rather than being stuck in trades that aren't going anywhere and i find certainly it suits my psychology to trade this way so rather than being accumulating lots and lots and lots of positions that we're stuck in forever that takes up all our margin we're constantly looking for where the market is showing its hottest sign of of action uh, basically and that's there so that's an opportunity there and we're up like i said about 20 pips on it at the moment what is the target for this opportunity what are we actually looking for let's use this tool called trade mate here click here to select entry candlestick and i'm going to select this one here with the sniper disc on it from last night hit that and now what i'm going to do is for the target here we're going to be looking at the d1 accelerator starter limits this is what we start our new members on you can go on to using the extended limits as another guide bigger targets where you can use maybe when the market's moving a bit faster or maybe if you want to monitor the markets a little bit more closely but i'm going to go with the starter limits for now which is a nice nice good way of, uh, of getting started calculate trade details and that gives us an output so I recommend a stop loss you can customize that setting if you wish and then the target as per that starter limit so this is giving a target down to 71.78.4 so the market's actually um, not quite got there it's 0.3 of a pip away uh, but we're up about 20 pips at the moment so it's going really nicely in the right direction at this stage so a nice trading opportunity there so that's Aussie against the US dollar. What else have we had? Let's have a look through these other FX pairs and we're looking for the ones with a two to the right hand side. So Euro against the New Zealand dollar. There was a buy again last night. Notice the green outline around it, giving us the buying opportunity. So from around 67.71, uh, price has gone up to around 68.40. So that's gone up about 70 pips. What's the target on this one? Well, Euro New Zealand's a little bit faster. Okay, so we're gonna go for a touch more. Target of 168.21, that's a 50 pip target, and the price has already got there. So it's gone up, it's come back a little uh, bit by now, but it doesn't matter we've already gone and hit targets. So our members will be putting a target in um, at that 
168.21 level, it's achieved that target and profits have been taken. If you're trading that at £1.58, which is a risk management profile we recommend for new traders according to a, an account size you put into the platform, um, then effectively, what's that? £1.50 a point, broadly speaking, 50 pips, uh, that's £75 on that trade. And that's done from last night and it was, it was already out of the trade by the early hours of this morning. Um, Euro dollar. In this trade at the moment, we're about 10 pips to the good, very similar to the Australian dollar against the US dollar, but it's moving nicely. Pound against the Australian dollar, there was a buying opportunity there from 189.18 or so. And again, looking for about 50 pips, hitting that target really nicely too. So from 189.18, looking for 50 pips there, that'll be up to 189.68. That takes us to there. So price has actually gone beyond that. So it's gone about 20 pips through that, but that's okay. I don't mind if it goes through, but look, it's actually backed away quite a little bit, but our members would have already taken profits and they'll be moving on, looking for the opportunities now for tonight. Pound New Zealand, similar to Euro New Zealand, uh, it's giving us a buy opportunity there. And you might think, well, 50 pips, that's, you know, that's not too much. It's plenty and it's the sweet spot. This is about playing probabilities here. What is this market most likely to do versus is, versus what is it least likely to do? Yes, you can see that buying opportunity there, which has gone on good guns and ended up rallying about 300 points. That is a not such a likely scenario, okay? What I'm interested in is trading and our members are interested in trading, getting in, this is out with again within a couple of hours and moving on with 50 points in the bag. Pound against the US dollar, moving really nicely in our favor there. We're up about 28 points on it at the moment. Let's go through this one on trade mate. It's not hit its target yet, uh, but it might well do. Calculate trade details, 135.92 is what we're looking for. So we've got about another 20 points or so uh, to go on that one for it to hit our objective. And then finally uh, in this list here, New Zealand CAD. We'll look at New Zealand dollar as well, but there's no sniper on that one. New Zealand CAD, lovely sell trade. And it doesn't half look like we're selling it so far down, but it doesn't mean it can't carry on further lower. Look at those two lovely sell trades there. The market ratcheting its way down with lower highs, lower lows, and that's the another next rotation down. That was a sell from last night. Only 30 pips for this one. New Zealand had not one of the fastest markets, but a really nice profit of 30 pips uh, there. Um, uh, and then let's have a quick look at New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Uh, no uh, sniper on that turn. Just not quite the right setup. Remember, what this is all about is looking for the highest probability patterns, the ones that have historically identified and found for us the most consistently uh, positive opportunities. And that's what we're looking for. And that's what the snipers will identify. That's what the algorithm is searching out for us. So let's have a quick look through uh, of what's actually happened then so far uh, today uh, in terms of those new opportunities. So what have we had? The first trade was Australian dollar against US dollar. We're currently up 20 pips on that one. Um, Euro New Zealand, uh, we've made 50 pips on that one. We're already out of that trade. So just to note that with a tick. Uh, Euro US dollar, we're up 10 points on that sell trade there. So we're still open. Um, pound against the Australian dollar. So we're up 50 and we're out of that one. Pound against New Zealand dollar. We're up 50 and we're out of that one as well. Uh, pound against the US dollar, we're up 25 points, a bit more than that now, but actually we're up and we're currently open that uh, at the moment. And then New Zealand CAD, uh, we're up 30 points and we've closed out of that trade already. So what does this give us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, trading opportunities uh, at the moment, um, altogether up about 240 pips, something like that, around that sort of order. Now, being me, you know, what I quite like to do is consider the way in which these markets move. And if I've got a few trades that have already taken my profit, I've already hit that burst of speed, I'm very inclined to look to close out these other trades as well, crystallize my profit, go risk-free for the rest of the day, and I'll be looking at more opportunities for the um, for the rest there. So, and if you're trading that at two pounds per point, well, two pounds times by 240 uh, equals 480 pounds. Now, for a lot of people, you know, that's a really good return, uh, particularly uh, from just looking at the markets once in the evening. I think there's a lot of people that believe that you can't make that much money from trading on daily charts. That's absolutely not the case. The issue here is to do with the type of strategy. I don't particularly like being in trades for several weeks because that typically means my stop losses are much wider 
which means that I've got to give the market more room to breathe. It means my trade size has got to be a lot lower and my money ends up being stuck in that opportunity whilst often that, that particular trade is going sideways. This market is all about taking that impulsive move and riding that impulsive move for a day or two and then hopefully uh, coming out with a decent profit. In this case, in the last 12 hours, we picked up approximately 240 pips profit and again, two pounds a point. That's a nice call, 480 pounds, potentially tax free uh, if you're spread, spread betting that under current UK legislation as well. There you go. And if you want to see more about all this and how the strategy works and how you could look to use these tools on your device at home, just tune into one of our free webinars and we'll show you a whole heap more about it. Thanks a lot. If you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.